Coming here was a complete eye-opener. This is about uh, uh, searching solutions together. Community level. What is the situation here? What can we do? What can we produce? Let's sit together and look for a solution together. What I've just realised by coming here, that it's actually what I do, it's earrings and it's making my clothes, that is something that it can make a difference to where I am in the middle of Africa. It gives people control over their lives. Charity doesn't give them control, it's the opposite, it makes them dependent. We are not interested in just getting a cheap product. Um, what is important for us is that it's ethically made and that's, what's, that's what you know, is the main driving force for, for us as Westwood. Fashion is also a vehicle for capacity building. A lot of this work has the hand, and so I think it's wonderful if you can transfer something that has that human design made from the transmission of their brain to their hand. And I think that's wonderful if you can in include it in fashion. My biggest hope at the moment is in what you're calling bottom-up. You know, it's on the ground doing projects. And from what my research, what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to find out and what I'm trying to filter into and help, I have found that there are thousands of individuals and charities and NGOs doing this hands-on, start from here, go in there, do this, do that and the other, and find by experience what it's, what, how you find the structure to make things change. I am traumatised by the problem of climate change. It's really changed my life. My outlook on the world is completely different. In fact, um, I think that everybody's outlook on the world is completely different. Once this idea ever gets in their head, the human race never looked out on, on such a future. We always kept on going thinking that the world was our oyster, we could do what we wanted. Now we realise we can't. The one thing that globalisation has taught us is that we are on this planet together uh, and we can't get off it. So we do have, we do have to have some shared values. People have an income and power, uh, more control over their lives, and therefore they can choose not to have to exploit the environment because they have another way of earning some money. If you want to address poverty, you have to bring work. It's value creation for the poorest of the poor, for those who are usually excluded from the formal economy, but who can take part in it if given the opportunity. You know, we're not here to make charity t-shirts. We're here to make a product. And why not come here? There's a, there's a, a skill base that, that is being developed. We're doing good, but they're capable of doing, you know, great things. From my whole experience here, the thing that really touched me and really meant something to me more than anything was the photographer Jürgen Teller. The thing that really touched me is something Jürgen said before he left. And I realise that he's probably one of those people who gets everything by direct experience. And he really, really cares about human beings and their relationships. And so somehow, what, what, because he told me how stimulated and how cheerful he felt about the work he'd just done with us.
also I think what he really got out of it is that we bring magic to those human relationships. I love my job because it has enabled me to, to move on with my life. So I gain from it, it has helped me a lot. I am proud of it. It's quite incredible to, to think that um, we might save the world through fashion. <laughs>